video that you are about to watch. Um, I have paint all over my glasses. Um, I am just updating you on my dreads, how they look, how they feel, how they wear, and um, I'm at like the four month, maybe almost five month mark. They're still pretty new, but they're still really fun and exciting. And I'm gonna show you how to clean them up with a crochet hook. So if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. Everyone, please give my video a like. It really helps me out a ton. And if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you for watching. Okay, so my daughter, where is she? Can you see her? She's playing um, Roblox right now. So you're probably gonna hear that in the background. But I have been meaning to do this video for weeks and just keep not doing it um, just because I've been busy. I really hope you love my unicorn hair, hair right here. Um, this is all my loose hair that's not in dreads. So I just put it up like this so you guys can better see the dreads that I do have. So let me let me show you. What is this? Like a piece of paper in my hair. Let me show you how fuzzy and they're not even like loose. They're just fuzzy and lumpy and bumpy, which is totally like normal. They're really soft. I died. See all these here? And up in the, up closer to my scalp where all this new growth is, all these like baby hairs are trying to like hold on to the dreads around them. So you have to be careful that they don't do that. Otherwise you'll have a big, huge, um, matted mess. Like see this one is like stuck right here. And I'll just like rip it or clip it. You probably shouldn't rip it, but you could clip it with scissors. So I did, I cleaned these up with my crochet hook. It's this right here. It's really tiny. Maybe my camera isn't gonna focus for you. It's just a really tiny, tiny hook. Focus camera. Anyways, it is, what's it even say? It says 1.4 millimeters. And there's different sizes you can use. I almost would do it a size bigger than this. Anyways, I put some tape around this because it's just a really skinny metal and it very much hurts my thumbs when I'm constantly doing this. So the day before um, Thanksgiving, I did a few of them. I cleaned a few of them up and I'll show you what those look like <clears throat> compared to the ones that I just showed you. So all of these over here are not done. And this is definitely something that it's going to take like a day, at least a full day of put something on Netflix and do your dreads. Okay. See how like smooth and rounded these are and like put together. These all used to be lumpy and bumpy just like these back here. Like n no lie. They all looks like this. And then you use this crochet hook to put them all back in place and make them look smooth and pretty. This one, where is it? This one's got like a, <laughs> so this one had really long like hair out like this, like, like it was probably an inch longer even. And I kind of like bunched it up right here. So now it's like a knot, like a, a hard knot. Anyways. So when I, when I run my fingers across it, it always like gets stuck right there. Okay, let's pick one. I have a cold that's happening today. Let's pick one that's up close right here. So I'm snotty and my eyes are watery. And look at all of this. Look at all of this growth right here. You guys, I, my hair grows really fast. Really, really fast. Here's all this growth right here. Lots of lumps and bumps, lots of, lots of hair, just kind of everywhere. So what I do is I twist this up close to the scalp. I wish this would stay down here like this in the direction that I want it to lay. So don't make it twist straight out because then your dread's going to kind of poke out instead of lay flat. So kind of twist it so it's laying flat or however you want it. If you want it sticking out, then whatever. Anyways, I take my crochet hook and you just, you just poke it in and out of this 
dread over and over again. Just some people do it really fast. Um, I kind of try to roll and rock, like roll the dread with this hand as I'm doing it and rock my crochet hook. And this will tighten it up right here. And I always start close to my scalp. And you don't want it to be super tight right here because um, you don't want it to like forcefully pull on your hair. You want it to be tight, but not like pulling your hair out tight. Does that make sense? You guys remember what this looked like before we started. And I'm not going to do all of my dreads on this video because it would take forever. And since I'm kind of having a down day today because I am sick with a cold and I can't breathe and my eyes are watering, um, I'll probably do some work on my laptop. As most of you know, I have... Um, a couple of businesses that I run from home. I have a, a woodwork slash like home decor business um, that's completely made from the ground up by me. Everything's made by me. Um, and I also do unique. And today is our Cyber Sunday and tomorrow Cyber Monday. So I have a lot of like messages to send and, and posts to make and whatever. So while I'm doing that, I can have some music going in the background or something playing on Netflix and do a couple dreads at a time and get them tightened up. I don't know where you guys all live, but we live in Iowa, like center of Iowa, kind of like Southwest, but more central. And yesterday, the weather is crazy here. Yesterday we had like thunder snow and tornadoes here. We did? We did. I, and I didn't tell you guys. That's why the clouds were crazy yesterday. I knew it was, I knew the tornadoes were north of us and that we didn't have to like take cover or anything. Anyways. Um, I would be freaking to death if I heard about that. I know, that's why I didn't tell you. Anyways, so yesterday we had tornadoes and like thunderstorms as it's like cold and wintry. And then today we wake up to super crazy winds and snow, 100% Iowa weather. So that's why, so, so that's why like when I looked down over there by the barn and stuff. Yeah, the clouds like, were crazy. Yeah, they yeah. were like really dark and it was raining and if he was running I couldn't catch him. Yeah. He was wearing big boots and I couldn't run. <laughs> yeah. It was horrible. Yep. I was like, what is going on? Lightning struck me or something? It was just kind of out of nowhere. It wasn't like supposed to do anything, but something about like a low pressure system. I don't know. I don't know anything about all that stuff, but so I have this big bump right here that I'm going to try to work on a little bit. I'm going to try to bring it up this way a little bit into my dread, just kind of spread it out. And this really cramps up your fingers because you're like gripping your dread plus gripping your hook. So you definitely don't want to do it all in one setting. And if you have someone that you can teach how to do this to help you, you absolutely want to. I can do it. It's kind of tricky. Okay. And it is kind of tricky. You're going to be frustrated. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? You're going to be frustrated when you first start. But just keep stabbing this hook into your dread just pulling it in and out in and out because what you're doing is you're sticking your hook in there you're grabbing those loose hairs and you're bringing them through see and it's kind of almost like sewing in a sense because you you are weaving those hairs in and out of your dread with this needle with this crochet hook My fingers are already like cramped up and I'm only on one dread so far today. How much dreads do you do a day? Well, I would like to do four or five a day and then I can spread it out throughout the week instead of trying to do it all in one day because that's just too much. Yeah. Plus, who has time for that? I do not. I have, like, I have stuff to do. <laughs> Plus, you have tons of kids. And tons of kids, you're right. That always never leave you alone. Annoying puppies. Yes, annoying puppies is right. 
I still really miss my horse's eye. <laughs> what? This. The eyes missing. Oh, miss. That was funny. It's right here. Her eye is missing. <laughs> Her eye is missing. My fingers! It's always like my thumb and this thumb muscle right here that hurt. It's not even like hurt. It's like cramp. I know how you feel, Mom. You know why? From gaming? Yeah. I'm sure. Like, you always have to use your whole hand. Like, your two bottom fingers or three fingers for uh, the bottom. Wow. And then you have your thumb to reach over everything. And then you have your two pointer fingers. They have to click the bumper and the trigger. Yep. It takes forever to learn how. I'm sure. So it's going to be kind of thicker right here. Now let's work our way down to yeah, it's three fingers. this bottom part underneath this bump and get clean up all these hairs. My fingers! What, Braxy? What, Braxy? What do you need? <laughs> Our, my other daughter's bedding is being washed right now. She's at her mom's for the weekend. She, She's been gone for a whole week. Well, her mom got her for Thanksgiving. She lives here with us. But her mom always likes... She's mine. Yeah, she but her mom got her for Santa. Thanksgiving. Yeah, but that means we'll have her for Christmas, so... Yay. Nothing wrong with that. Let me show you how I hold it. This is how I have to hold it, and then these are two things that you have to push down. Mm -hmm. Did it, they ever let the dogs out just now? I saw them let them out. Like, just now, though, I like told them to right before I got on my video. Yeah. Oh, that just go make sure that they did it. I don't want them. I maybe need to work on this one up here a little bit. I'm in my daughter's room. I was going to do this in my room, but it's really dark in my room. <clears throat> I could have moved my ring light, but my ring light is in the dining room because I've been working on what's called barn quilt squares. They're big four by four, four foot by four foot um, pieces of wood that have quilt patterns on them. And I paint them. As you can see, actually the paint from my hands is not just from the barn quilt square, but I had a Christmas tree that was given to me a couple of years ago. A small one, like a three foot Christmas tree. And this little plant pot that I found in the trash. Something else I like to do. I really like to turn things into, um, just kind of like upcycle them, you know? Like they were trash or not really like usable. And I turned it into a really pretty Christmas tree. Anyways, so it was a green, standard green, fake Christmas tree. And I took white paint and made it look like it was flocked. Because I've never had a white Christmas tree or a flocked Christmas tree before. So, it looks really nice. Now we've got three Christmas trees. I'm going to work up here just a little bit more just to tighten it up just a little bit. And you don't want to rip your hair when you're doing this. You will get it down. It is going to be frustrating. You're going to be like, what the hell? I, I can't even get this to work. And, and you're going to think that you're absolutely not making any progress at all. And then, you know, five or ten minutes. And then, do you guys remember how lumpy and terrible this dread was when we started? If you don't remember, go back. Just, just go back and check. And you'll see. Uh, I tried to make, I tried to make a video of me washing my dreads the other day, um, but it just didn't work. I, it was too, like, exposed, like, of my body, because I was, like, in the shower, but you literally wash them just like you washed your hair before you had dreads, except for you use special shampoo. You don't use regular shampoo, you use dread shampoo. And that's it. You literally don't have to do anything else. 
but I appreciated those videos before I got my dreads. So I wanted to make one for you guys. Okay, so then if you want, you can palm roll it a little bit just to kind of, I don't know, put it all together after you're done doing the crochet part. And then you have a nice clean dread, just like that. Just like that. Let's do one more. This video is 15 minutes. This one might be kind of loose. I'll speed this one up so that way it's not a super long video. <laughs> so again, twist it kind of in the way that you want it to lay. So I want mine to lay like down. I don't want them to poke up. I want it to lay down. Okay? Just like this. And then take your hook. And really no rhyme or reason to this part other than just poke it in there, grab your hair, and just re repeat that process, just in and out, in and out. You guys hear that wind blowing? There was kind of a kind of a debate on my page the other day. It was just yesterday, actually. I posted a picture, just a selfie, and you could see my dreads in it. And typically, my selfies are like pretty close, so you can't really tell that I have dreads. And um, anyways, you could see the dreads in this one. And there was a a girl, one of my friends, that commented on it. That was just like, first of all, my cousin commented on it, like. Um, not very many people like the dreads. He said, I still like them. He used to have dreads. And, um, <clears throat> another girl that I'm friends with commented on it and listed the reasons why people don't like dreads. And of course it was like, you look like a ratty mess and it looks like you don't take care of your hair and it just gives the impression that you're dirty. Some people think that they stink. Anyways, it could have been misread like that was her opinion, but it absolutely wasn't. So after I like first read it, I commented, I see arguments happening in three, two, one. And then she kind of like, her friend had, her friend had dreads and she liked them and blah, blah, blah. She just was making, she was just making this comment based on other people's opinions, like the stereotype of other people and why they don't think that dreads are appealing. And so that cleared the air. But unless you went in and read all of the comments, you wouldn't know that. You would still kind of assume that it was her opinion that she was putting out there. You know what I mean? So so it kind of it kind of got tense for a little bit. But I I it just comes with territory and I don't know why people feel the need to have such a strong opinion about dreads when others have them because who cares I don't care what you do with your hair you shouldn't care what I do with my hair and I know a lot of people like think that they look dirty and filthy and makes it appear like you're lazy or that you um, don't take care of yourself or that you don't care and that absolutely is not even kind of how it is. I'm sure that there are people that probably do have dreadlocks because they don't take care of their hair. But even then, who cares? Who are you to judge and give a crap about? I don't know if we can cuss on YouTube. I cuss on Facebook all the time. And I probably shouldn't, but I do. I, I think quite the opposite of dreads. I think dreads are super pretty. Um, I don't think they're dirty at all. I've never, ever thought 
oh, that person has dreads, their hair must be dirty, or their hair must stink, or they must be lazy. I'm like the least lazy person ever. I, I'm, I have six kids and multiple businesses that I run by myself, and five dogs, and a husband, and all my kids' friends. You know, like, I'm not lazy. And in fact, dreadlocks, you know, the reason, one of the reasons I really was um, drawn to dreadlocks, um, aside from their aesthetic point, like, they, they are pretty to me, they look very pretty to me, is because of the low maintenance that they entail. And before I had dreads, I only washed my hair once a week anyways because I have a lot of hair and it's really dry and I just didn't wash my hair more than that and I still don't wash my hair more than that but when it comes down to it when your dreads are new you are putting a ton of work and time and research in to your hair at first yes ultimately someday when my dreads are locked on their own um, I won't have to like do this process as much and I can just wash them and go just like I want to but at the beginning you are putting some work and thought into it so it's not lazy at all and like today I know I'm putting more work into my hair than a person with straight hair you know what I mean because I want them to look like this that's the whole thing I want my hair to look like this because I think it's pretty I just think it's really pretty. And then palm roll it. Just like that. And then you have your clean, pretty, non-bumpy dreads. And then here's another here's another one. This one what I think was two that grew together. See this? But I can't get them apart anymore. So they're just gonna have to be two. Because when you have your your new growth out here, if you're not careful, those long hairs will grab onto each other and they'll, they'll stay. They'll stay together forever and ever. Like, see, this one has some little hairs and I'll just clip it so it'll cut free and then it'll fall the way I want to and then I'll clean it up. Just like that. Anyways, I'm so glad that you watched my video. Um, please hit the like button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. I started this channel with the intention of uploading, um, you know, a couple of times a week, but the reality of it is <sighs> dreads are slow going. It is a process. It is something you need to have patience for, and I cannot make a video about my dreads even once a week because it's just not, it's just not a realistic approach, but I do do lots of other cool things, like I've just recently started um, couponing, heavily, heavily couponing, so I can make some videos about that. I also like to do artsy fartsy stuff and like to show you guys and show you how to do it and just other pretty cool videos. And if you don't like those videos, cool, don't watch them, but subscribe to my channel for the Dread videos and I'll keep you as up to date as possible. And message me or comment below with any questions. I 100% appreciate every single one of you and I hope you all have a lovely Dread journey.